like you always do. Mm. Oh no! Non-threatening Negro comedy, volume six. My uncle Willie, the guy was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, he would do weird things. <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, no. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses as, as we. As we forgive ours to trespassers. Debtors? Trespassers? What, what are you nuts? What? Get out! Oh, no. Well, you think you know someone. Get up, kids. I can't believe you would expose my children to this without my consent. Your children? What about my kid? He's only nine. Twelve. Please, just leave. Gladly. You don't even understand what the Lord's Prayer means! How dare you! Forgive your debtors! Forgive your trespassers! You owe me a bottle of wine! Get off my property! Why do they have to leave, Dad? Because they don't believe in God the right way. We simply can't mix with their kind. It's dangerous. There's a wrong way to believe in God? Sure. You know the 21st commandment. But I like Christina. Well, why not try being afraid of her instead? Oh, gee, I don't understand. Okay. Now do you understand? I guess so. Still hate her. Still hate her. Still hate her. Tolerator. Tolerator. Yeah. Dad? Hey, come on in, half pint. I feel guilty about something, Pop. Oral guilt is for Catholics, you know that. Stinking dead end job. And how was your day, dear? Pretty good day. Oral! What are you doing? Oh, hi, Dad. Pretty great, huh? I'm at one with God. Uh-uh. Not my son. Oral, are you crazy? You can't just use a godless religion to worship in our faith. A faith which is absolutely littered with God and Jesus. But, Dad, it didn't feel bad. Well, it is. Buddhism is a communist cult that allows just about any random practice under the sun. Here in the land of the free, we are lucky enough to have restrictions. Those restrictions are called dogma. Dogma? Cute word, huh? Kind of makes you want to throw it a bone, doesn't it? <laughs> well... Oral, throw dogma a bone. Pray correctly. But I just don't understand why it feels... Well, I'm not taking questions right now, but my belt is... Never mind. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me out of here. I mean, come in! Just look at Oral's shirt. It's the fourth time this week, Clay. It's worrisome. I can't be doing laundry every day. I'll have to double my detergent budget. What? This is serious. Gee. Oral, you know you shouldn't upset your mother by coming home with dirty clothes, because then your mother talks to your father, and no one wants that. But I have to get bloody, Dad. Otherwise, I'd have to fight. And Jesus says, turn the other cheek. Ah, yes, turn the other cheek. The war cry of the Frady Cats. Oral, the phrase turn the other cheek has been misused ever since violence became out of style. It has? Sure. That saying should only be used when someone insults you or jokes about your wife. Then you should just grin and bear it, even laugh if it's funny. But God doesn't want you hurt. He needs you to protect yourself so you can defend his righteousness. Wow. Yep. I think you need to give this bully of yours the chance to turn his own cheek. Oh, so it'll be like I'm teaching him about the Bible. Exactly. The Bible. Now, make a fist. Gee, Dad, I, I don't know. Come on, it's not that bad. Why, a fist is just one hand praying by itself. Dusty, less dust, no dust. Oh, 
Forget it. Save it. So what does this mean? You're giving up on me, Dad? Oral. A father never gives up on his son, because then he's not really a father. And if I'm not a father, all I really am is a husband. And that's practically worthless. Oh boy, apparently there's a new craze called conservation. Huh? Mm. Leave it to the liberals. They take a perfectly fine word like conservative and rape us with it. Oh. Dad, isn't it a sin to park in the church's handicap spot? Not if your foot's asleep. Dad, do you know any sinners? Hmm, well, there is one guy who works with me at my dead-end job. How does he sin? Every now and then, he forgets to capitalize God's name in legal documents. Oh. Thanks for coming to the premiere of my new film, everyone. Oral, I hope that's not one of my clean sheets you're using. Nope, I took it off Dad's bed. What? Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Come here, Oral, while you're pulling your pants up from my spanking. Is his dad molesting him? What? Hi, Dad. Want to drink my pee? Ooh, that's what I do for a living. Oral, as everyone knows, nature is man's worst enemy. That's why we had to civilize ourselves and get as far away from her as possible. Unfortunately, animals are still at her vicious mercy. So, with one of these honeys, we're mercifully letting animals take what we like to call nature shortcut and kill them fast so they won't have to live in fear. <laughs> oh! Son of a... Why did you pull me away from her, Dad? Never fraternize with the enemy. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, for the love of God, Earl, get that poor, wretched creature in your sights and put it out of its misery. Gosh, she looks pretty happy to me. Hap! Happy! Oral, that thing is eating grass. Everyone knows that grass is nature's carpeting. You're not supposed to eat it. You're supposed to judge your neighbors by how neat it looks outside their homes. But it's so peaceful. Get out of the way! Yeah! Got her! <laughs> I win, and you lose. <laughs> hey, they just keep on coming. What are you doing? Why, I'm gonna shoot that rabbit, of course. Dad, uh, that's not a rabbit. It's someone's hunting dog. Oral, hunting dogs are just... <laughs> nature's rabbits. You didn't bring any other food? Oral, we're absolutely surrounded by food that walks right up to us begging to be eaten. Why would I lug around some lazy, legless food? Uh, on second thought, maybe we should call it a day. I thought so. Well, I think you might be... ...too drunk. Let me tell you something, Oral. Drunk is nature. I'm not really comfortable hunting with you right now. You're not comfortable hunting with me? <laughs> Have you ever tried hunting with you? <sighs> I gotta tell you, Oral. Your cup is always half empty. Now look at me. You should be more like your old man and look on the blight side of life. Blight? I didn't say bright. I said blight. My life is sunny and blight. Bright means the opposite. It means sudden withering death. And that's... Uh... Oh, who am I kidding? My life is full of bright. You mean blight? Oh, God. What's the matter? I hate myself. Why do you quit working on me? She always fools me, Oral. 
I'll make things better, dear. Drink me. Put me inside you. I'm great. And she chokes me just like every other whore out there. They're all worthless, kid. Every woman. Don't let them get you. All of them want to get you. They just grab you and pull you into them. And you're forced to stay in and pull out. Stay in and pull out. And then they cut you. And they grip you finally right where it goes. And then they start squeezing things out. Things that are like weights around your head. You sit there for the rest of your life with nowhere to go and no one to be. Dad! Are you okay? <laughs> okay? Am I okay? <laughs> you shoot one thing this whole trip? Count them, one thing. And it's two of my last bottles of liquor? Sorry, Dad, it was an accident. There are no accidents. <laughs> You've done nothing but whine like a lady in a flowery sissy skirt and attractive high heels about my drinking since we got here. It's because you become a bad person when you drink. Oh, oh, I do, do I? Well, we'll see about that. Okay. It's time you became a man. Where's my raffle? Uh, uh, I don't think... There it is. Dad, watch out. Please, Oral, I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, but you might shoot it off by mistake. There aren't any mistakes either. No mistakes, no accidents, no flub ups, no boner. Look. Don't butt me! Dad. Oral, what have you done? I got shot by you. You sure did. You've got to learn to be more careful, son. It hurts, Dad. Well, it's supposed to. Pain is nature's spankings. Dad, I'm bleeding a lot. Um, we're gonna need some cloth for a tourniquet. Hmm. Uh, uh I think a shirt would work. boy. My lucky shirt? Well, maybe it'll finally start kicking in. <laughs> I guess my lucky gun trumped your lucky shirt, Kidarino. Dad, I have some disinfectant in my first aid bag. First aid? I thought I told you not to bring that. Yeah, well... Ah. Hello. Okay, this might sting a little. Whoops. I hate you. Hate away, sister. Hate away. Don't you tell me I'm not! Because I am. I guess I am not. Sorry, Mr. Bear, but my dad's a jerk. Oral! Shut up! Oh, oh. On the sun. On the sun. Morning! Morning was 13 hours ago. <laughs> Miss the Roosters, eh? High time for some breakfast. I want to go home, Dad. What? Why? What happened? You shot me in the leg. No, I didn't. Look. Oh, I don't remember that. So that means it's not my fault. Well, we should get you... <gasps> Oral! He's dead. Shot? Yeah. Oh, Oral. Make me happy. Make me proud of you, son, and tell me that you shot that bear yourself. No, Dad. You killed it. Huh. I did? Hmm. Okay, let's pack up and get you to Dr. Potter's wheel. He's perfect when it comes to keeping his mouth shut and just doing his job. <laughs>